I'm with Ryland after round four of the ENG under 13 Youth Network Premier League Southern Conference. Two big games, first one against Eagles, um, a game which last season you um, had a great game against them, um, very probably 60 40 in their favour in terms of ability. But you come back this season, they're flying in the league, but you matched them for the first and the second quarter. Um, it didn't start particularly well. They went, they did, they, they went into a couple of points lead, and everyone was kind of thinking, "Oh no, here we go." But you had great, great mentality to get back into the game. Force errors. They, I've never seen them make so many errors this season. And um, but you just couldn't get ahead because there was opportunities to get ahead. So, but then after the second half, after the into the third quarter, then everything just slowed down, and that that kind of. Um, that energy you had and that, that that discipline just disappeared. So, what was the difference between the first two quarters and the third and fourth? Um, I don't know. I think we we haven't played like all together in quite a while. So, I think we were just getting used to it and yeah, getting. We haven't like, we played like a game like that hard. Uh, I think we did really well at the start. To like it was like uh, sometimes we were leading and sometimes they were winning, le leading. But after the second, after the half time, I don't really know what happened. We just dropped off a bit. Well, you, you, you again, you were forcing errors. Um, you were keeping their kind of attacking duo, but quite quiet. There was a point where you could have gone one goal ahead, but you just never seemed to have the discipline to kind of maximise the amount of turnovers you were getting. Um, was it frustrating for you as a team to kind of play in that game and think, hold on a minute, we could be two, three, maybe four points up if we just maximise their mistakes? How, how do you how do you correct that for future games? I think we could have won it, but like I think we just needed to stay tighter on our player and be vicious back yeah. and like um, go really run for those interceptions and recover like, yeah. better. I think we used a lot of our energy to try and get ahead in the first two, but it just didn't plan out. Yeah, and then we just didn't have enough energy. So we need to like, take, take more care. When we, when we get a turnover, we need to calm down a bit and, and take care of the ball and take it down. Yeah. Well, then you played Turnford. Um, relatively comfortable win. Um, we expected that. But you now find yourself in a position where it looks like you're probably going to have to beat Teambridge to, to get into the yeah. grand finals. How do you feel about that situation? Is that a situation you're comfortable with? You're confident to, you're going to get a, a win against Team Bridge, or are you, are you kind of thinking, why have we put ourselves in this situation? Um, I think we should win that game, yeah. uh, but uh, it depends. Yeah, Sometimes again, like, we have bad days, but uh, we do need to learn to be more consistent in like being at the top of our game. So hopefully we can work on that and yeah. um, win that game. Overall, we happy today? Yes. Yeah. Especially, especially the second game. Yeah. The really second game with the first game, game not. We, we really like, we took our mistakes from the first game yeah. and turned it around for the second game and thought, well, I did that wrong in that game, so I'm going to try and do that better in the next game, which we did. So. Well, you definitely gave Eagles their hardest game of the season so far. It's just that third quarter, unfortunately, you didn't score, the discipline went, and you just gave yourself too much to do. Yeah. But, Ryland, we'll see you again on April 9th. Massive game against Team Bridge. And we look forward to seeing if you can make it into the top four. Well done, Ryland. Thank you.